Malcolm season premiere after The Simpsons, starting at 8, 7 Central, Fox Sunday. The premiere of Temptation 2 continues in 30. Now, heavens to Betsy, it's The Tick on Fox. The life of a superhero is a lonely one filled with hardship and danger. The few who answer the call must leave comfort, safety, and often sanity behind. But someone's got to stand the heat and stay in the kitchen. Someone's got to don... Hey, a bus. You still here? Yeah. He stands in silence, stoic, godlike. The mysterious Blue Avenger who has become legend to the simple folk of this bus station. But glory will not distract him from his vigil. Come on. Come on, come on! Metal fiend. Stand back, citizen. So, Vending Menace, we meet again. Jiggle thing. Harmless bandit. Empty your bladder of that bitter black urine men call coffee! It has its price, and that price has been paid! Huh. <sighs> Java Devil? You are now my bitch. Well, here you are, weary traveler, one steaming hot cup of justice. No need to thank me. It's my sworn duty to defend this bus station against the ravages of evil. Uh, you dropped this. Hey. A bus ticket, apparently. I intended to go on a trip to the city. Why? Well, it looks to me like you finally freed us from the tyranny of the coffee machine. So well, perhaps my work here is done. Perhaps it's time that I moved on to a place where there's... Stuff to do. Stuff to do. Stuff to do. Well, goodbye, grateful bus station man. You don't know what you'll do without me, but shed no tears. And goodbye, plucky, pimply team. I think you're ready now to hear the truth. This wasn't really a magic hubcap. The magic was inside you all along. Huh. Well, destiny honks the horn of gotta go. To the city! Who was that blue stranger? He was the tick. In a place where the thrill is all that matters, Rick Rambis and his friends are the best of the best. Yeah! They know what they want. Guys, if this is gonna be it, let's make it count. And they're always willing. He's passed out. We'll put him in Rick's car. To push things over the edge. Two, three. Ah! Rated PG-13. On November 21st, the competition is on. Dear Kurt, how is training camp? Are you getting along with the other boys? This new chunky soup will fill you up right after a fun-filled day. No, no, no! New chunky beef rib roast with potatoes is loaded with lean chunks of savory rib roast for a taste of home while you're away. Lights out! I miss you, Pumpkin. Love, Mom. <laughs> You all right, Kurt? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. New Campbell's Chunky Homestyle Classics. Like Mom used to make. Okay, Vegas. Austin. Tulsa. Vegas, honey. Yuma. And Austin. Straws, kids? To me. Mom said no dinner until you apologize. Forget it. She owed me the apology. Uh, Dad 
Dad says he's really sorry. He wants to take us to McDonald's to make up for it. He said that? Yeah. Mom says you were right. She thinks we should go to McDonald's. Really? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No. Oh, please go to McDonald's now. We love to see us. Sir, I'm sure that human resources can handle this. No need for you. A man's life is at stake, Mr. Barrett. I'm taking this bull by the horns personally. Good Lord, I'm too late. Ah! <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Fishladder. Arthur, it is still Arthur, isn't it? Arthur, my time is worth $17 a second. I want an explanation, and I want it to cost less than $1,500. Go. Oh, uh, well, it's hard to explain. $51. Mr. Fishladder, I have been living a lie. I'm more than just a mild-mannered accountant. Now, I do good work for this firm, and I value my job. It's just my entire life has become nothing but numbers and deductions and IRAs. 255. And granted, I've been doing my parents' tax return since I was six, but even then, I knew I had a higher calling. I can't hide from it any longer. I... Don't say it! I am going to become a superhero. You know, part-time at first. Christ in heaven! Look at yourself! You're built like a sensible shoe. You shouldn't be jumping around town in a body sock fighting crime. Well, I haven't actually fought any crime yet. Good! Keep it that way. Crime fights back. Remember the lesson of Metcalf. Metcalf? Metcalf! Head of shipping and receiving third floor. Metcalf! He lost all his game pieces just like you. Cashed in his 401k and bought a jetpack. Now the poor bastard needs a machine. To poop! Mr. Fishladder? I know that sort of thing can happen, but... But you're gonna ride this thing out to the bloody gruesome end, aren't Well, you? maybe not all the way to the end, but, you know, for a while. Mr. Fishladder, I have to try. Time's up! Here's the way I see it. You're either a man with a job or an idiot in a bunny suit. You can't be both. Not at Worldwide Fishladder and Sons. So what's it gonna be, huh? It's gonna be a tough row to hoe. But he's just the Joe to hoe it. For destiny has called on him, and even now he feels her warm, moist hand at the small of his back. Pushing. Pushing. Losing that job was the best thing that could have happened to me. That paycheck was a noose around my neck. Now I can be like you, a superhero. The noblest profession, risking it all for the common good. That's our job. They may call us an accountant, but we can't deny our true natures, even if all of our friends and relatives tell us we're good at math. The hero's life, our destiny. Suit doesn't do a lot for you. Make you look like a Easter bunny. It's a flying suit. Easter bunny can't fly. Well, I can. <laughs> I haven't yet, but all I have to do is go to the top of a building and jump off. Go ahead, who cares? I'm going to do it tonight. I think he's going to fall down a lot and die. Oh, crap. City! City! I am the chick! And you have melted my heart. From this day forth, I will spread my buttery justice over your every nook and cranny. Hear me, oh city, my city. Your toast will never go bare again. <clears throat> Who am I kidding? Comrades, the Red Scare. The finest secret Soviet super weapon 1979 had to offer. One touch of this button. And we'll have an unstoppable engine of death at our command. 1979? Does it still work? Does it still work? It's a Plotsky! Ivan Plotsky, the best scientist ever. A toast, my friends, <coughs> to the Russian-American coalition for the annihilation of the U.S. postal system. Nostromia! <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Rabbit person wants to make problems? 
really more of a moth thing. He wants to be a superhero. Let's teach him the lesson of Madcalf. Madcalf? Madcalf! No! My first damsel in distress. A man, that woman! Huh? Oh. Awkward moment. Sorry there, Mothman. Didn't mean to interrupt. Although I sure would like a slice of your righteous combat pie. What do you say? Help. Oh, hey, great. Thanks. Wicked men, you face the tick. <laughs> He breathes in deep the sweet air of his first victory, and with the newly won friendship of his fellow warrior, he stands tall against the inevitable horrors to come. Come on, Mothman, to the rooftops! here on the rooftops. Brightly clad stallions running the most dangerous steeplechase of them all. Flanks sweaty, nostrils flaring. We heroes are our own jockeys. Chum, we ride ourselves and hard. Robot? I saw a robot. You saw a robot? You lucky duck. Wow. <laughs> Haven't seen you around before. I am... But Manuel, you may have heard of me. I uh, get a lot of press. You were the one who saved that trolley full of supermodels. Yes. In fact, I saved them three times in one night, if you get my meaning. Nope. But Manuel, thank God you're here. Listen, there's this big red... But Manuel, on a roof, of course. Huh? Yes, the doors open at midnight. Aha. Uh -huh. And invite Diego. I like his sister. She's Catholic. Cool walkie talkie. Gentlemen, Captain Liberty. Once again, the nation is in peril. No, I'm telling you, Falco died. See, si, Amadeus, Amadeus, he is a dead person. Captain Liberty, thank God you're here. Listen, there's a big risk. There's no time to chat, I'm afraid. This is top priority. The CIA has tracked a secret Soviet super weapon to the city. Codenamed the Red Scare, 100% lethal. Exactly, exactly. That is the biggest darn whirly bird I have ever seen. So, Janet, back in bed with the CIA, huh? You certainly do your best work undercover. Stow it, you infant. I don't have time for your nonsense. Oh, you had a little time for it last month, on top of that water tower. I shaved her too once, if you know what I'm saying. Nope. Everybody, the robot! It's right down there! I'm working on having him deported. Oh, she fears the demons I have awoken in her womanly places. He just flipped over a car! Ground one to airship, target the Euro trash and fire on my command. Lesbian? We should have taken your country when we had the chance. I still have your panties. He's got rocket Give me those, you weasel! Don't fight like a girl, Janet. Fight like a woman. He's getting away! Oh, I stepped in gum. Oh. What's wrong with you people? You're superheroes. You're supposed to be, you know, oh. heroic. Sticky pink devil. Greasy Torp. A right wing ice queen. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Who puts gum on a roof? Well, it's been a shattering disillusionment. Good night. What was that about a robot? Little guy? <laughs> oh, stroke my ears. Little chum. He has supernatural speed and unstoppable power. Now, he will discover.
discover the doorway to our world. Freeze! 30 seconds! The one is incredible with dazzling visual effects. If we kill him, this whole universe could go with him. Jet Li is. There's never been anything like what I have become. The one rated PG-13, now playing. There's a place where people smile big, eat good, and always score a sweet deal. It's got to be Applebee's. What makes the honey of a deal? Our amazing new honey pepper sauce. It makes honey grilled chicken and honey pepper steak a taste of honey heaven. Throw in our famous riblets, now honey barbecue style, and you'll know why. It's got to be Applebee's. Fox Tomorrow, Max faces a creature that's part human, part animal, and pure terror. An all-new Dark Angel. Then, if you saw 24, you'll want to see it again. If you missed it, this is your chance to catch it. Get out! 24, an encore presentation. It all starts at 8, 7 central tomorrow on Fox. Now head home for the holidays in any new Jeep vehicle and take along the security of 7-year or 100,000-mile powertrain protection. Plus, through November 19th, 0% APR on select O2 models. Hooray for the fun, is the pudding done? Hooray for the pumpkin pie. What if you could start the day with a place that made your taste buds tingle? A place loaded with cinnamon rolls and cinnamon raisin bagels. Wild bean coffee and raspberry cheese croissants. And not just things to eat, but things like free e-directions and Amico fuels to get you where you're going. Chances are, you'd soon be a regular at BP Connect. Now get a 24-ounce cup of wild bean coffee for only 99 cents at BP Connect. For 24 straight years, your local Ford store has been leading the way with the number one selling truck in the world, Ford F-150. And during truck season, we're leading the way with huge savings on the toughest trucks around. Right now, lease a 2002 Ford F-150 for just $2.99 a month for 24 months, or buy one with interest-free financing. Truck season, another reason why your local Ford store is... Fox tonight, temptation continues as the couples go on their first dates and jealousy is already setting in. I just want him to want me as much as I want him. The temptation to premiere continues next on Fox. came off. What are you doing here? Look, man, this is incredible. It looks just like an apartment. What? All right. Show me your trigger. My what? Your secret headquarters trigger, the switch that pops up all your secret crime-busted equipment. Is this it? Huh? Oh, <laughs> Say, what does your sofa turn into? It turns into a bed. Well, that's a start. What else you got? Nothing. I've got nothing. This is just an apartment. What are you doing here? I followed you home. I got something I want to show you. Look, this whole thing was a mistake. Apparently, superheroes are just a bunch of egotistical, self-centered, sexually frustrated kindergartners. No offense intended. None comprehended. It's just, I thought they were supposed to risk it all for the common good, you know, help the downtrodden. The sad part is, I'm downtrodden. I'm not Mothman. I'm not a superhero. I'm not even an accountant anymore. I'm just Arthur. Arthur, oh, listen to me carefully. 
I believe in you. I always have. That's why I'm here. Destiny dressed you this morning, my friend, and now fear is trying to pull off your pants. If you give up, if you give in, then you're going to end up naked with fear just standing there laughing at your dangling unmentionables. Oh, wait. I almost forgot the best part. I got to thinking you might be onto something about this whole red scare thing. Figure maybe we should interrogate somebody. Please help me. Help you? You were going to metcalf me. Easy there, bad cop. I think you cracked this nut. All right, you heard the man. Give him the skinny. The Red Scare is a relentless robotic assassin built in the late 70s and, 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 and programmed to kill Jimmy Carter. We were going to use it to kill the Postmaster General, but you thwarted us before we had the chance. Well, you see, Arthur? You thwart. Well, then it must still be programmed. Oh, my God. Jimmy Carter is in town. Jimmy Carter is in town. Heavens to Betsy, what are the odds? Quickly jump, Jimmy needs us now more than ever. Oh, us? Us. I have no money. Five dollars, fifteen percent. Uh, just keep the change. Where are the buildings? Hey, idiot! The Russians are Sorry. coming. The Russians are coming to the penthouse. This is insane. I can't fight the Red Scare. Yes, you can. I'm just an accountant. Well, people change. And people die. No, they don't. Yes, they do. On my watch, they don't. Looks like we're going to be late. But I don't want to poop with the machine. No one's asking you to. <clears throat> Jimmy Carter. Jimmy, in the elevator. We'll take it from here. Mr. President. Jimmy, you got robot problems and bad. I left my money in my room. I'm sorry. And your very life hangs in the balance. Help! Help! President, I believe in you. I always have. That's why. Take, I take. Don't squeeze his head. But that doesn't work on anybody. Remarkably spry. Men in wrestling outfits. Mr. President, Help. please. Help. Circus freaks. Help. Please, Mr. President. I know we look strange, but we're here to help you. There's a Soviet killing machine out there with your name on it, and it could strike at any moment. I don't believe you. Oh. Great Molly Hatchet. Jimmy Carter, you had his sentence to death. Not so fast. Destroy Jimmy Carter. You and what army, Pinko? Ugh. Ugh. Knock it off. Ugh. 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 Don't worry, Mr. President. Everything's going to be OK. Ugh. I think. Good helmet. Destroy Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Mr. Ex-President. Grab onto me and hold tight. <laughs> oh, yes, it's too late. We learned that communism does not pay. So, don't have a snappy Soviet comeback for that one, do we?
And that's how we vanquished our first supervillain. And how Arthur learned to fly. And how we gave Jimmy Carter a mild concussion. <laughs> we saved a president. Yet the evening's greatest victory is the friendship forged between this heroic duo. Inseparable. <laughs> bonded together by the crazy glue of justice. Till death do they part. We saved the president. Yeah. Uh, you two are the talk of the town, you know. I'd be honored if you would uh, shine my cash. Oh, sure. Boys, that was excellent work out there. I'm sorry I was somewhat distracted earlier, but I assure you that I did come to my senses before it was too late. She's a, a beautiful woman, but uh, her third base is uh, very dangerous, if you get my meaning. Ow. Oh. Here, fortune cookies, check. Check. Look, more strange treats from the Orient. Mm. A secret message from my teeth. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Damn. It's Apocalypse Cow. Arthur, evil is afoot and hoofing it with dark gusto. Let's go. I would not go out there, my little friend. The Apocalypse Cow is 50 feet tall. She shoots fire from her teats. Quickly jump. There's fire everywhere. Batman well said, utter fire. Fight fire with Arthur! No, I'll just get a check. It's your destiny. Batman well. Diego! <laughs> How is your sister? Ain't so good, man. Ammonia, the flavor that it is. The hair looks like real hair. The clothes move like real clothes. The sweat drips like real sweat. Pity those who play to escape reality. Sized family sedan. <laughs> it does if it's redesigned with V6 power, room for five, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan. Introducing the new Sonata from Hyundai. Free up. It's the better way to prepay from Verizon Wireless. Now for only $69.99 after $30 mail-in rebate, you can free up with this real live digital phone that comes with $15 worth of prepay minutes. This mind-blowing new way to prepay is loaded with features like 10 cent night and weekend minutes, nationwide long distance included. Now you can call farther and talk longer for only $69.99 after $30 mail-in rebate. Join in and free up only at Verizon Wireless. Then I had that taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. Not a trace. I'm doubting my mind. A quarter pound of flame broiled beef. I'm in love. Ooh, Two slices I'm of melted Swiss cheese. Four strips of bacon. I the new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now for a limited time at Burger King. Believe, believe, Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. Temptation Island in Cleveland? It's a party full of sun, sand, and seduction. The Moss Man takes you there live to meet Northeast Ohio's newest primetime star at 10. Wow! Get ready for parenthood, Bernie Mac style. Good morning, Neff. I bet if I stop feeding you, you have something to say. Critics call it the year's best new comedy. Somebody get in your face, you got a scam. Wow. No mess with me, man. No mess with me, man. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. That's a dead
say, boy, walk right there. The Bernie Mac Show, followed by the season premiere of Titus at 8, 37, 30 Central, Fox Wednesday. The premiere of Temptation 2 continues in 3, 2, 1. Let me be the first to welcome you to Temptation Island. Everyone is just anxious. I want to see if the grass is really greener on the other side. If he cheats on me, then we're not going to stay together. It's do or die. We're either going to stay together or we're breaking up. It all begins now. I trust him with my life. We voted off all these beautiful, innocent women and left all the prostitutes. It's not him. No, I didn't say kissing some girl's breasts were fine. He's about to sleep with somebody. Alone. I'm shaking right now. Why would he do that? I don't want to be. These four couples have embarked on an incredible journey. Although they're in committed relationships, they've traveled to this remote, tropical destination to become single again, to test their devotion to one another and answer the ultimate question, have I found the one, or is there someone better out there for me? Upon their arrival, it's time to say goodbye, okay? You knew it was coming. They were separated from their mates and sent to opposite ends of the island. It all begins now. There, they were joined by 26 singles. 13 men and 13 women in search of romance. Got me totally excited in all the right ways. For nearly a month, they will mix, mingle, and date in an attempt to find new connections. She's bad, man. 